that's a little bit better. Well, good morning and welcome to Google Camp 2.0. Google Camp was really a, a collaborative project um, right from the outset. And uh, we based it on what we saw from EdTech team in the uh, Ontario Google, Google for Education Summit in Waterloo. And Jim and I looked at each other and said, wow, we need to do something like this for our board. Um, so we talked and we, we got some support from the people who need it for and they said run with it. And uh, you know, right from the beginning, everybody we asked said, hey, we want to be involved. We had all kinds of teachers uh, out ready to volunteer, share what's happening in their classroom. Um, EdTech team helped us out the first time this go around. We had fantastic keynotes from Eric Scheninger and Richard Byrne. Um, it has just been a fantastic group effort. I'm absolutely blown away by all the tools that we can use in our classroom. So I think the one thing I really want to do if I had to pick one is just shift in terms of my teaching practice. So using that social media to draw and engage students to embrace the new age, the 21st century, and start doing things in a new way, collaborating using Google Docs, making presentations together, and really working with the students to plan the curriculum as opposed to me planning and then instructing, let's build this together and bring them into the classroom and fully create a culture where we can collaborate and work together. Uh, Google Apps has changed learning dramatically in my classroom in terms of collaborating and sharing the work, um, in terms of assessment, uh, in terms of uh, just uh, having a more connected classroom. I'm able to work with students uh, on a daily basis that I could previously only get to once every 10 days or so. So in terms of allowing me to access the room and having the room access me, it's really um, made the learning much more efficient, effective, and engaging. What I'm going to do uh, for this session is go a little uh, deeper into how to create a, an environment that supports digital learning. Because you know there are some components that we need to take into account and, and really focus on what are we having our students do with technology. So what got me started thinking about this hyper-connected world and thinking about how technology can help my students and really help my students in the long run, not make the classroom fun for the day. I can make the class fun for a day. I want to make the class engaging and preparing students for the long run with technology. I really hope that teachers are going to take back an attitude uh, that says, you know what, I'm going to try something new, I'm going to share something, uh, I'm going to ask for help from someone. Um, it's really about creating a culture where sharing and collaboration are valued because those are lifelong skills that uh, students and teachers will take with them whatever they choose to do.